Okay, here we have the cover of our rear transmission axle from uh, Ford F-150 2016. First thing that we're gonna do is clean up this thing with brake cleaner. Once we've finished to clean this cover with this pad, I mean it's it's a normal pad to wash the dishes. This thing is gonna remove all the remainings without scratch the lid at all. I mean it's not something like really needed or mandatory, but it's gonna give good quality to your work. Okay, now my cover is clean from inside. The next step is remove the paint and the rust that we have here. Uh, to do this, we're gonna use this aircraft remover. To be honest with you, I don't care about the brand as long as it works. Um, this thing is really toxic, so just uh, protection for your hands, your eyes. Also, try to use a cover for your mouth and nose to avoid breathe this uh, substance and pretty important I uh, do this in a in an open area in this case I just open my garage door we're gonna let it work for about 10-15 minutes just a note um, with this particular brand be careful I was reading while I'm waiting for this thing works that it says no flammable I mean you have instructions here in English and Spanish and in both languages it says here non flammable no es inflamable no flammable well I was reading the back and in the part that is in Spanish basically it says advertencia precaución producto inflamable this thing in English means warning be careful flammable product but if you read in English there is nothing that textually says this thing is flammable so just be careful don't smoke around or be close to some kind of source of potential fire after 15 minutes let's start to remove the paint okay I'm gonna finish to scratch this thing and most likely I'm gonna apply a second layer of paint removal repeat the process and I'm gonna show you guys the cap once it's done after tons of sandpaper and use this pad pretty much this is the, the result the effort so far is worth it and now we're gonna clean this again with brake cleaner. Okay, what is next is paint this thing. I'm gonna start painting in red. Use this portion and this portion. I'm gonna use high temperature paint. Um, to do this, and the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna apply paint the first layer and then I'm gonna hold 10 minutes and then I will apply a second layer hold on 10 minutes again and so on uh, in this case I'm gonna apply four layers so that's what I'm gonna do now
Now hold on for 10 minutes. Okay, let's go for the second layer. Okay, now we need to hold on for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna skip the third and fourth layer and I'm gonna keep the video once this is done. After four layers and once this paint is dry, now I have two stickers that I bought it and I'm gonna cut them out because I just wanna keep the word forward without this. And uh, I mean, I'm gonna do the same stuff with both. And then I'm gonna place the sticker here and here. Most likely, because maybe somebody's gonna think like, okay, you're gonna paint this thing and it's not gonna be visible because it's beneath the car. The upper part, maybe yes, but um, the lower portion, I think, is gonna be visible. But I'm gonna just paint it both sides just to make this even. Now I'm gonna place the the sticker The next step is paint again the cap, but this time I'm going to use white paint. Again, this is for high temperature. And in this step, basically, we're going to repeat the process. It's one layer, then hold on 10 minutes, another, then hold on 10 minutes. But since this is going to be the main color, I'm going to apply six layers. And then we hold on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna skip, uh, for the sake of the time in the video, uh, each application, but again, it's gonna be six times. Okay, this is the result after six layers of paint. I have a tw some tweezers here and a knife. So with these things, I'm gonna try to remove the sticker. Okay, now that we remove the stickers, we're gonna apply some gloss. Um, where I'm gonna apply three layers of this thing. Again, um, giving 10 minutes between each application. Once I finish the third one, it's supposed, following instruction, instructions of this thing, that after an hour, the gloss is gonna be dry, but we need to hold on for three hours before we can actually manipulate the lid. So let's, let's follow those instructions and see how it goes. Ok, 
Okay, so we'll, we're gonna give it 10 minutes, then the second and third. Okay, for the bolts, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna make some holes and then I'm gonna place all the bolts and paint them. Okay, once it's dry, basically this is the result. And those are the bolts, which together make, I think, a good match. If you want to check how I removed this cover and the way to put it back, check the description below. And I will add a link there in which I'm showing the process. Thank you.